Hi guys, today we'll show you how we did the custom installation of the bifold doors in our closet. The previous owner actually removed the sliding doors that used to be here. Uh, this divider was removed as well, so we had to make one ourselves. So basically we ended up with an open space and we decided to install these bifold doors. So now we have four fully functional doors and um, we had to install these tracks one on each side for our doors and in the middle we installed the 2x4 which gets secured with these brackets and in front as you can see we have this wood panel we also had to install these brackets on the bottom these hold our doors in place uh, for that we had to drill the tile and the concrete underneath and we'll show all this in the video and as I said, now we have fully functional doors. Let's see how the installation was done. Here we have two sets of doors with a cat. And we have our closet right here. So we'll have two doors right here and two more over here. In the middle we'll have to install a beam. We will use a bracket like this on the bottom. So we have one right here. This is how it's going to be installed. You have to make a couple of pilot holes first and then you'll use screws to secure it in place. And uh, the distance from the edge is approximately a quarter of an inch. We'll make some markings. Now it's time for the pilot holes. Behind the drywall we've got the metal frame over there and we'll use these screws to secure the bracket. Repeat the process on the other side, again we have the bracket on the bottom, we'll make uh, marks for our screws. The next task will be to install tracks all the way this way. We have two tracks and I'll show you how they look. Uh, since our doors are 12 inches wide, we have a 48 inch track for each set of two doors. This is how this one looks. And on the other side we have a hole for the pivot and this actually is adjustable as well the distance from the edge uh, to our uh, track should be the same as the distance to the uh, bracket down low which is in our case one fourth of an inch again we will mark uh, our openings for our screws there are five holes in this case We have our second track installed, the idea is exactly the same. In this case we have four bolts holding the track. The reason for that is in this area the piece of frame is missing and that's why we can't properly secure these two bolts. In this case we will leave it like this uh, because the lower bracket which will be installed somewhere here will hold the weight of our uh, doors in the middle. Again, this is one track and here we have the first one that we installed. 
you also need to make sure that the doors that you have come or have this type of pivot on the top uh, two of them like this and on the bottom each door should have uh, this type of the pivot as you can see it is adjustable and this is how you remove it as well this is how it looks again if you guys need any of this hardware i will leave you links in the description each track will need slide uh, guides so this is a new one well we have the second new one installed already right here this is how it looks and there are a couple of ways how you can install them you can either push it in like this or you can also remove this and again as i said this guy is adjustable and this is the way to adjust it like this so you can pull it out and then slide this one in it goes all the way right here this is where the pivot will go and this end can be easily inserted and uh, secured this way to figure out the position for the brackets on the bottom so one has to be like this and the second one has to go here for that we'll use a thread which will go from this end all the way down to the bottom same over here all the way to the bottom and another thread which will go from here to this bracket this will uh, give us a position for the holes that we have to make well in this case it will be the end of this bracket okay this is our thread right here and it goes all the way to this end the second thread will go from the top like this it goes all the way down you can see we have a bolt on the bottom and the, where these two threads meet is uh, where we made a mark and this mark means uh, the edge of uh, the bracket now we will mark uh, the whole bracket we will use a pencil and uh, as i said before the, this mark is in the middle of the bracket and uh, now we can also also make the marking for uh, for drilling the tile do it for each of the brackets this is how it's going to look like and repeat the same process on this side Now we'll have to drill our tiles, for this we'll use uh, this set, this one is specifically made uh, for the tiles, this will uh, make sure that we don't crack the tiles when the, we drill them, and we'll be using this uh, one fourth of an inch uh, bit right here. After that we'll use the hammer drill to drill the concrete underneath uh, the tile and for that we'll use this bit, this one is uh, one fourth of an inch as well. And again this is our one fourth inch uh, bit for the tiles, We're using Craftsman uh, drill and this is our mark. This is our hole and underneath so we have concrete. 
this is our concrete uh, bit and as you can see it actually doesn't go in all the way that's why we use the uh, second size of the tile bit this one, one is 5 16 and we'll simply enlarge this hole make sure the drill is straight high speed and now the hammer drill for the concrete again this is our one fourth of an inch uh, bit we'll measure the length of our anchor and make uh, a mark this way we know how far we need to drill the concrete you need to set the drill to this middle position, this one is the drill and the hammer in one, and this is the one that we need. Now the anchor goes in, you can use a screwdriver or a hammer to push it in. I'll show you guys uh, which anchors we're using. Here they are. They also come with the screws in the set. And this is the set. Because the brackets are being held only by one screw, uh, we'll actually use this wooden block, this 2x4, we'll cut a piece uh, for the middle and this way we'll be able to secure both brackets in the middle as well. This way they will be stable and uh, won't turn. And this is our block, we'll take out the proper lengths and later on this will be used as uh, the base for the uh, beam we will use short screws this will be enough to hold the block in place and uh, it also will guarantee that it won't crack uh, this can happen if you use longer ones This is a temporary solution later on uh, when we install the beam we'll actually drill another hole in the concrete and secure uh, this piece uh, better. Okay guys we're ready to install outdoors. These are pillars on top and the one on the bottom will go right here. So I will first set it up over here on the bottom somewhat like this then the top part can be pressed like this and one end one end will go in this hole and the second one will go right here where we have the spring our first door is on. I'll show you guys again. This is the pivot on the bottom. We have uh, one on top right here. We have to adjust uh, this piece here and then secure it in place. And this is another pivot inside this uh, white slider. Okay, this is our pivot on the bottom right here. This one will go You can loosen this one first during the installation and then you can slide it first and now we can slide the whole door over here 
here. Now we can adjust them and tighten the bolt. I'll show you the adjustment one more time. First you unscrew this bolt and this will allow you to move the door either to the left or the right and this way you can uh, adjust the gaps between the doors if they don't close properly this is the way to do it our next step is to install the beam in the middle as we said before first of all we'll have to secure uh, these 2x4 uh, you'll see two pencil marks one here and one on this side this is where we will drill this piece and uh, uh, the bolts will secure it in our uh, through our tile and into the concrete and this bracket will hold the beam in the middle our craftsman drill has a level on top this will allow us to make a straight line straight hole To mark our tile, uh, we'll use a piece of tape, just put it in the middle. As you can see, we made some pencil marks. I line it this way, and now you can use the same uh, drill bit to make the mark uh, on our tape. And as you can see now, we can clearly see there is one mark right here and uh, the second mark right there. Again, we'll use 516 style uh, bit to make two holes in the tile. And now again, we will drill two holes using the hammer drill. The length of our screws has to correspond to the length or the depths, in this case of the 2x4 and our blue anchor. On top here we'll use another wooden block, uh, basically the same size as the one on the bottom, which will hold our beam, which will go down. So all this construction will be attached to this uh, drywall here. In this case, because as we said before, the frame is missing um, underneath the drywall, we'll actually use uh, glue and we'll use a couple of bolts to hold it in place and uh, later on we'll have this panel which will be our divider in the middle. Uh, we'll use this Gorilla Glue we have already drilled two holes for our screws Now we need to measure the height of our beam, so we'll go from the top uh, wooden block all the way to the bottom and this will be the height of the beam in the middle. We'll have to make a mark here and cut it off. 
Now it's time to install the bracket for the beam. This is our bracket and we already uh, made uh, some marks. And again, first we need the pilot bit. More holes. And the same for the top. installation is complete we use two brackets with eight screws right here and uh, one more bracket right here now the last stage this is our panel in the middle now we have to find the right size at the moment it is actually wider than we need so to make sure we cut uh, the proper uh, Width off, we have to first open this door and uh, in its maximum open position we made a mark on the wall right there, same on the bottom. Here is a mark and now what we'll do to find the right width, we'll open the other door all the way again and uh, Again, in the, the maximum open position of the door. We'll make another mark right here. So this means we have to cut off this piece on the top and going all the way down. This will be the mark that we will cut off as well. So now we have to make a line here and uh, trim our panel. We used the edge of the existing door as a ruler and uh, I'll show you guys again. We connected the two marks and uh, now we will have to cut off this piece. Right in the middle. two more holes on the top and on the bottom as well. Our installation is complete. We used two screws right here, three more in the middle and two more right here. The panel is now very stable, it's not going anywhere. The doors are now fully functional. I'll show you guys. As you can see, the glue has expanded. Now it's properly secured. Again, this is how it looks. 
we still need to paint the whole thing uh, we'll show that in a different video so stay tuned again thank you guys for watching i hope this was helpful and as i said we'll see you in the next video